Uh, can we start with your team news? And just really a full roundup of where you are now with your team, with lots of players possibly back, maybe not back. Tell us where you're at with each of your squad members, if you could. Good morning. Uh, before I start to give you the answer, I would like to to give my full support to David uh, Brooks because yesterday I was reading uh, one one new that he was talking about his illness. So he's a very very good young talented player and just from me personally and from the club too we hope uh, uh, the, the best support to him in the best recovery because always with uh, for the football to have a very good players playing football always something very positive he's one of the best for me young players that are playing now in the in the championship so i hope that he can have a, a very good recovery because he's a very important player for for the championship now i talk about the about the news of the team uh, the summary that I will tell you is that the only player that is not going to be available is Alex Vallejo because he continues having some fluid in the knee. And as soon as this liquid is absorbed by the by the knee, he can, he can come back to the training. We expect him to, to maybe Sunday or Monday to come back to the training, but now uh, he's not going to be available for the for the next game. From the previous game, Hog is going to be available now. He was doing a normal week of training and the same with, with Colwell. So both players that are missing the previous games are going to be available uh, tomorrow game. And what about the, the longer term players that are out? How are they progressing? I'm thinking Peeper, I'm thinking Rhodes as well. Yes, Aaron Rowe, Peeper and Rhodes are the three, well, and, and Ryan Schofield are the four players that are injury in a, in a middle or long term. All of them are progressing well. The, the first idea with Ryan Scofield was to come back to the training during this international break, but we need to stay to wait still one week or maybe two weeks to come back into the to the trainings. So it's been a little bit delayed in how his reaction to the to the world, but now he's in the last part of the of the recovery. After uh, Rose continue making a good progression, people continue making a good progression. Rose start to be now in the pitch with the with the medical staff. No, with the group, no, with the technical staff yet. And uh, this and Aaron Rowe continue with the medical staff because, like I told you, he will extend his injury some with more. So, more or less, this is the situation. An important change, but uh, positive news to have again Hoggy and Colwell come back with the, with the group. Yeah, and on Vallejo, you mentioned that it's it's not a major issue. You think he'll be back available for you. Do, do you think for Tuesday or do you think by the back end of the week would it be more likely? Depend about or Wednesday, should I say? Progress. Sorry, the game's Wednesday, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's the same, but depend about how he progresses. Nowadays, I expect to come to have him in the training of Sunday or Monday. Depend how he is. Depend how his progress and reaction to the react to the work that he's doing. We we'll see if he's more available for for Wednesday. Or if our real expectation with him will be more for for the next Saturday. How have you used the international break with your players? We just spoke to Fraser Campbell and he said, because you've had players away on international duty, it's been a very intense period for those players still at the club. No, I think it was a normal, anything special, but it's true that we give the first week, the first three days were days off, and after we use uh, the next days to work and to try to don't decrease the physical level of the players and, and try to improve in his own ideas of the of the team in the second week was just was more normal week to prepare the next game that we are going to have but it's true that sometimes when you have more days to work you feel that you are working more in the training because usually when you are having a couple of games or three games per week you don't have the feeling that the training is being strong because what is being strong is the competition of the real game but now when you have moments to training it's true that you feel that you come back to the training with intensity but i think it's something very positive that you have this feeling too because always is important to use in the best way the training days. What sort of ideas did you want to work on then? You mentioned at the end of that first week it gave you a bit of time to do that. So what were the sort of things you wanted to work on, improve on? One of the targets that I, after I analyse how the team was performing in the first 11 games of the of this season, I started to think that uh, one of the important points was to keep doing the things that we are doing well, continue to be watching, analyzing and, and working the defensive points because all we, we need to work. I think if we analyze the defense points, there are two types of work. One is the individual to improve the answer to the different game situation. Another one is collective 
for me the individual when you don't have a game you can prioritize about the needs of each player so you can be working the areas for the play that i think that need more the areas you can be working the mobility or the agility for the play that you think that if they increase this mobility or agility they have a better individual answer to the game situation so the individual is more depending about the needs of each player and after the collective always is important because i think in the last games we were playing with line of five but i wanted to continue to develop the, the line of four because always depend about the game situation we are going to have the option to play with five or with four defenders so we are working more the four because it's something that we didn't use before in the last weeks and after from the top point of view i want to see that the team is able to manage the ball i want to see that the players are fine with the ball and to be fine with the ball there are some situation that is important to analyze for us and we were analyzing after the Luton game why we didn't have enough control of the of the ball and trying to implement these concepts in the real game situations. And do you feel you got what you wanted from those sessions then? Do you feel you saw that improvement in those small sessions you could have? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay. <laughs> some days everything looked like fluently and some days the things take more time to, to be fluently, but this is part of the of the develop of, of his team. How important was it as well for you to give players those days off that you mentioned, and particularly the weekend off as well, those that are involved? Fraser Campbell was telling us it's it's really important to have that time with your family, particularly when you come back to playing and you've got a game on a Saturday, a game on a Wednesday, a game on a Saturday, and you're going to be in a hotel away from your family. How important was it, do you think, for their mental well-being? I think, I think it's important when you can find the, the right balance between the, the rest and the work. It's very important to find this balance, uh, especially when they are working well. It means that they deserve this rest. And after, when you come back again to the train, you work hard. After, you will need the compensation between the work and the recovery. Because if you don't have recovery, you cannot accumulate work. If you accumulate work, you need the recovery to, after one process of day, to, to feel the improvements in your body of the of the training and always you feel this improvement after you have some days of recovery so always important for me to find this balance between the the hard work and after the the recovery to can use the benefits of the work how pleased were you to see Sorba thomas actually get some game time quite a bit of game time for for wales and how pleased were you with his performance from what you saw i think always it's important to see our players in the highest level of, of competition because it means that we are performing well from the individual point of view, or of course, from the collective point of view. So when I see the, the international calls, it's something always positive to have players living this type of experiences, living this type of competition, because I think that have this type of being involved in this type of games only can improve the experience to be living another, to be playing in another context with another targets. So I think it's an growing I think these type of games can grow the level and the skills of our players. Can I ask you about you going out to speak to fans as well? You went to speak to some of the Disability Association fans, didn't you? How important was that for you? It's been obviously very difficult to do because of the fact that we've had COVID in all of your time at Huddersfield Town. So how important is it for you now to be able to go out and meet the fans and see the fans now we're allowed to once again? I think uh, there are a couple of things. First of all, I always say that for me, the, our fans are the most important thing and our work is only easier focus on, on them to make them proud of the team or of who they are watching in every time that they support us in the pitch. So be with them, let them know how important they are for us. I think it's something, it's something important. And like you say, because COVID, we couldn't. And when you are involved in the, in the number of games that we are playing, you, you cannot have this time with them, but when you are having one international break, that it means that you have enough time to prepare the next game, be close to them. I think it's important for them and it was important for us too. I was enjoying a lot with them because they show me that they are one group of people that support a lot Huddersfield. They have created this, this club or this organization 25 years ago. And it's always it's important to, to have the feeling for me of the people to, to listen to their opinions, to talk with them. And I was living one special moment with with these people. And having said that, you've now got back-to-back home games as well, which is important, isn't it? Because it's where the majority of your fans see their football and the last time they got to see a fantastic performance and result as well. Yes, always is important when we 
we are playing in front of our fans at home uh, to show the the best performance that we want to show always this is what we want but it's true that we are having the support of our people when we are playing away too i can tell you that the last game against uh, when we played against luton our uh, all the place where the fans were sitting was full and they were giving us for me the support that we needed to take the the point that that we that we did that we achieved so always is important but we know that when we are not watching them away they are in the back in the tvs uh, following the 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 team so always is good to know that all our effort all our concentration all always our competitive actions have the target to to make our best to them may feel very proud of the team and finally then whole city um what have you made to how they have adapted to life in the championship having been promoted last season I think uh, they are making, they are having, or they are making better, they are achieving better performances than results. But it's true that for me, there was one key result that is the last one that they achieved in the last game. That for me is going to change his dynamic because it's true that they were playing 4 2 3 1 the first five games of the season after they changed to 4 3 3 the next four, three games. Of the season after they change again to the 4 2 3 1 and in this uh, number of in this period of games they didn't win any game but they as yes, they take some points they draw in some games but the last game against Middlesbrough they were changing to play with Lano three with three midfielders two and with Lano five with three midfielders and two strikers and they achieve one positive result then that's why I expect them to play in the same way because they add new behaviors in defense the new structure for me allowed them to have a, a good balance between defense and attack. And I expect one team that arrived with the motivation after they achieved the first winning of the season. And it's a team that for me is very combative team. It's one team that for me they have find the, the positive result in the competitive mind of the of the players. So I expect one very another tough game. But sometimes you when you are saying that I you expect another tough game, it's like you are saying always the same, but it's not because it is. Because if no, I, I need to tell you the truth. I think they have one competitive spirit that they are keeping every game. When they are losing or when they are winning, they continue playing with the same level of energy. And if if it's not true, they would have win 2-0 uh, uh, to, to Middlesbrough. So mm. they have won that game because they are a competitive team and we need to go with our best to achieve the result that all we want to achieve. But uh, we always say the important is about us and can be any point in front of us because the only important is how we perform. If we perform well, for me, we have options to, to go for the games. But if we don't perform well, we know that we are going to suffer any with any opponent in the championship.